Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And uh, we found this cave with this little bonfire. I'm not sure if it's the direction we're supposed to go, but it's where we're at. Hebra South Summit Cave. I think this is where we were supposed to go, right? Uh, Hearth had no leads on Princess Zelda either. He suggested you speak to Tulin, who has been scouting the sky since the fierce blizzard began. Hearth said that Tulin went to the Hebra South Summit Cave with Gisane and Laisa. Its entrance is marked with another bonfire, which is what we just found. Cool. Oh? Laisa. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, that with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Oh, oh looking for Tulin, huh? Uh, fair enough. He's farther in this cave with Kassane. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother, if you, bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. Hey, you think I'm going to stay away from it? Please. Not even close. Okay, do I have any hammers? I actually may need a hammer. That was not the one I thought I had selected. I... That was... That was dumb. Um, that's... Okay. I could have sworn this was the one I grabbed. Yeah, this is a bad call too. It's just gonna break right away. Okay, so when they fall in water, you just lose them. That sucks. Makes getting those guys really hard. I think that's the second time they've been over water. I wonder if that's pretty common for them. Not making it as hard as I'm I'm expecting them to. <laughs> okay, let's see how um oh no, they are jumpy. Huh? 
I think those are the guys that the statues are in the underground. Don't they kind of look like them? Have Horriblin shown up in any other Zelda games? I don't remember them. If they have. Two directions, huh? Okay. Okay, we found we we know that we can't burn these. Um okay, I think No, cuz that gust doesn't go high enough. Really? I'm never going to catch one of those. I always put him in the worst spot. Okay, how... Because just a regular gust ain't going to do it. Are you telling me fire will work on these? I could have sworn we tried that. Alright, nope. Another failed assumption. Oh, it's just a giant bright gloom. I thought it was going to be something way cooler. Think anything's up there?
What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Uh, oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto's Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed from there. Followed them there. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Okay. Okay, there that goes. That's there basically to show us that they'll gain mass if they are rolled down the hill. Probably for this. Am I supposed to roll a... Am I supposed to roll one high enough that it can keep this sign up for Addison? Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh, look at that. This is a much better base, Addison. Okay, that'll be enough. Now it depends, is this like together? If so, then it shouldn't fall forward. No, it'll probably still fall forward. So we probably need something on the side and something on the front, would be my guess. All right, if I let this roll downhill, it's probably gonna hit you and break, right? Question is this can I actually even talk to you right now? Bro, bro, no. Okay, so they can attach. Alright, let's try that. Okay, it looks like we didn't even need the front one. Okay, bye. <laughs> that 
That rock freaking exploded too. All right, so we're looking for um, a lone isolated tree. So I think we're headed up there. Look how close we are to some of these sky islands too. This is cool. Wallow bow. Oh, that one's already fused. I did not realize. fight that big guy. Um, let's see. Dude, look at all this. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I was expecting an icicle club, huh? Okay, so it looks like it's lower power than a nine, so I don't really care too much about it. Um, you know what? I think that if we had this larger and up the hill, maybe. What has he got on his back? Expecting not a slash. Okay, bro got stuck. I'm okay with this.
Okay, let's see if this works on him. He's kind of big. Nope, not really. Yeah, man, just use your combos. Quick charge. I'm meaning this? Okay. Okay, just checking. Seeing what else might be there, you know? Look at this place. And there's the kid. Oh, did I have a good instinct or what on this one? You can do it. I don't want to have to use the item. Damn. Should have kept my guard up. Ah, stupid monster. Uh, Link, where did you come from? What happened, kid? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. <laughs> see, that's the bow napper. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you too, that way you can glide over to where that monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Cool. Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Okay. Um, let's see. So this is probably going to be some bow shots. Yeah, that is my best bow. Uh, where are you going, bro? Oh, he follows me? No way. Oh, this is cool. Companions. <gasps> Companions. By the end of this game... Zelda better be running next to me like this. She better be one of these companions that you can use. If she isn't, I will riot. I will riot. You hear me? You hear me, Nintendo? We need more Zelda shit, okay? We just need it. Alright, you know what? Let's go here first. Uh, how does that work? 
Okay, clearly I don't think I did that right. Um, yeah, I may have screwed myself on that one. But that's okay. Maybe. Nope, get up there. All right, that'll do. Just make us well there we go I think it just makes us move further horizontally oh there we go I owe you big time link without you my bow might have been lost for good oh uh oh <laughs> There's more of them. I'd like for him to burst me up in the air, honestly. All right, they're not gonna make a fool of me out of me twice. Let's go get him together. did it. Uh, hey, look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Uh huh? Was that the wind? I think it was Zelda. It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Boy. Hey, Tulin. Link. Huh? huh? Uh oh, it's your dad, isn't it? Oh. No, it's the emo one. <laughs> oh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. You want to go back down to the, the cabin and listen to some My Chemical Romance? They're my favorite band. Oh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. Hey, well, a little bit of humility. That's good. Well, I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. <laughs> you are right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh, yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. Damn, kid, speak up sooner. I swatted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my garden and stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud. You say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Oh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but there's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one, 
Uh. I'm talking about you too, Lin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rita warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Tiba. Huh. Dad said that? Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. Uh -huh. No problem, the two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Interesting. So he's gonna just stick with me for a while. Like if I, if I were to go somewhere else, would he also stay with me? We might have to test it out. Ooh, yes. That seems like a pretty good bow. Okay. Now, do we try and fuse this? So it seems like the base weapon, if it breaks, then everything breaks. And it seems... It seems like if the base weapon breaks, both break. If the less durable breaks on top, then it doesn't break. So, if I were to do this, take the rusty claymore, and then fuse this with it. Let's see if uh, the top one breaks first, that Zonai thing. Okay. Okay, so that's where we're headed. Double Claymore. Hmm. <laughs> 
There's gotta be a shrine, like, down in this pit somewhere, right? There's gotta be. Okay, what's under here? I guess I should use something else. <laughs> guarding him. Look at that. Nice, okay. that give it a plus three? No, I don't think that did anything. So weird. All right, the shield one is an interesting, is very interesting. But altogether, I haven't found the good fusions. It seems like you're probably better off doing um, fusions with like items like the puff shroom or something, you know? Now, can I just... Hmm. Is there nothing down here? There's gotta be something down here. Um, okay, so all of this is over top. Really? I was expecting something more. Come on.
All right, now you're just pissing me off. Okay, so that's where we were. Where was that bonfire? Was it over here? Right over there. Let's go over there first. I want to see what's uh, in that cabin. Leave it to me. Oh, you push A again. I see. That was the part I was missing. Trying to pick up a pine cone. Oh, I find it so strange that you have to actually push A to pick those up. <laughs> Uh, hi guys, what's going on? Mm? Oh, you startled me. How'd you make it all the way here in the blizzard? Are you a shield surfer too? Must be. Ah. <laughs> Forgot about sh uh, shield surfing. You might not think it by the look of, uh, of me these days, but I used to be a pro shield surfer. Kind of well known too. I'd earn myself the impressive nickname Duchess, Duchess of Downhill. Oh hey, I'm starting to think you came here to study shield surfing with me, am I right? What's a shield surfer? Well, maybe you're not here for advanced study then. Okay, here's the basic idea behind shield surfing. <laughs> Take your favorite shield and turn it into a way to slide down snowy mountains with grace. Left, uh, I left the pro side of shield surfing behind to help the next generation step up using this lodge as a teaching center. But shield surfing in this weather is nearly impossible to do safely. Okay, can't do this yet. So I've put off teaching my students until the blizzard stops. Ooh. Something else you want to ask? Make me your student. <laughs> I knew you'd be interested, but sorry, I have two students. If I take a third, I'd worry they wouldn't get as much training as they deserve. So I can't take you on right now. Oh. But I'd be glad to watch you surf the mountain sometime. So come back once this blizzard stops, then we'll have a good conditions for shield surfing. I'd like to see what you can do. Yes, that's all you want to know. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous around here in the blizzard. Feel free to rest in the lodge before you head out. Return here to show me your shield surfing skills after the blizzard finally ends. Okay, sell me spot. We'll mark that. Oh. No, I heard you talking to sell me. Sounds like you want her to take you on as a student too. Oh. Then you're one of us. Or, uh, I wish. Uh, be great to have you, but sell me is stopping at two students right now. 
Huh. Yeah, she said she wants to give us uh, give us to her focus. She's not going to add any more students for now. Uh -huh. Hard to complain about that, though. She's one dedicated teacher to give us all her attention. Uh -huh. Yeah, I bet once we prove that we've learned enough, she'll take more students. But this blizzard. We can't train in this weather, so we can't learn our way to mastering what she's got to teach. I'd say just get off the mountain for now. Wait for the snow to cut out all the snowing. You could have come in, bro. Okay, that's probably where you start the uh, surfing. don't think I'm going to explore this right now because it's going to take me down and I am not looking to go down more. And I don't have a fast travel point up here, so. I feel like somewhere near the top here there's probably going to be a shrine though. You'd think. What's the one next to it? So we got a glider. Oh, it's just basically a board. And they put rockets over here. Okay, we're not going to play around with this right now, but we will be back. Okay, that's where we're headed. Now, I think what I'm going to do when I finish this is, first off, I mean, we'll see if there are any shrines nearby that we may want to go to immediately. But um, I kind of want to go to doing some underground stuff after we do this main story stuff. Um, we haven't been to the under we haven't spent too much time in the underground, so I kind of want to go there next. Okay, I think we're going to make another flamethrower shield. So I guess there's a tower over there? Must be. Oh. 
Ooh, they're carrying like rocks or something. Okay, we got to try and keep an eye on them. I don't know how you got up there, bro. Man, I don't... Look at that. Okay. They've got some stuff there for a hot air balloon. I love how they like fight each other. Speaking of fighting each other. Going through this menu kind of like makes me feel a little bit dizzy. Anybody else? Okay, we need a little bit of uh, help with our health right now. I guess we didn't necessarily need to make one, huh? With this one being right here. Okay, we might be making something here for that. All right, let's see what we can do for this Korok. I could put him on a snowball and roll him down the hill if we're going down, and if we're going up, then we can make a- <laughs> make one of those. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, my friend and I got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Yeah. Wrong thing. Yeah. Alright, you're coming with me, bro. Can I just take a campfire and put it inside of this? I think I can, right? Mm, can't really pick up that campfire though, that's not really a thing. Get it closer. That's not what I wanted. Get him off! Bro! <laughs> I was trying so hard to wiggle him off and he wouldn't wiggle off. Little bastard. Um, I'm not gonna attach you then. I think it'll be easier for me to grab you, not having you attached. This poor Korok. Bro. Relax. Relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. He's like, am I? Am I? Our oh my god. How did the- How? No. Okay, now, uh, now I'm just getting mad. Now I'm just getting mad, bro. Stop fucking rolling around.
I, I want... See, now, I, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt and not crucify you like everybody else on the internet, but right now, right now I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling it. The smallest fucking movement, dude. I feel like the motion controls are fucking it up a little bit, too. Bastard. Yeah, there's your stupid friend. You gonna roll off the hill? Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. I hate both of you. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be too high. I can find the right spot, maybe it'll let me. But no, I think that's too steep. This is what I get for helping Koroks. World of hassle. Might be able to stand here. No, it's gonna be too steep. But I think we're gonna make it. Next goal, continue that direction. We're going to do that in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.